Hello and welcome to a BYU-Idaho Writing Center tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing confused words. Confused words are caused by homophones. Homophones are words that can sound alike but have different meanings and different spellings. Let's start with accept and accept. Accept is a verb. In other words, someone or something must be doing the accepting. I accept your proposal of marriage. That store does not accept credit cards. Verb is an action word. Accept, like action, begins with A. Accept functions like the word excluding. I like all ice cream flavors except chocolate. I am free every day except Thursday. If you want to exclude something, use accept because they both start with EXC. Affect and effect. Affect is a verb. Someone or something must affect something else. That movie affected me quite a bit. The movie did the affecting. Affect mostly function as a noun. That movie had an effect on my sleep. Affect is a thing or a noun that happened as a result of the movie. Are and are. Are is a form of the verb be and describes a state of being. We are driving to California next week. Are is the possessive form of we. Our grandparents are meeting us there. Conscience and conscious. Conscience is your inner voice that tells you what is right or wrong. My conscience told me not to stay at that party. Conscious means to be aware or awake. If you were knocked out, you would be unconscious. I felt self-conscious on my first day of class. Farther and further. Farther refers to a distance that can be measured in actual length. How much farther do we have to walk? Further indicates an abstract or figurative distance. I don't want to talk about this any further. Feel and fill. Feel means to touch something or to have a sensation. I feel happy when my friends come to visit me. Fill means to make full. Please fill that vase with water. It's and it's. It is a possessive form of the pronoun it. The dog lost its collar while we were camping. It's is the contraction for it is. It's not too late to change your mind. The source of confusion here is that we think an apostrophe is used to show possession, such as for Bob's car. While this is true, the word it's is already a possessive word by nature, like the words his or her. Lay and lie. Lay is a verb and must be accompanied by an object. Lay the paper down on the desk. Hint. If you can replace the verb with a put or place, use lay instead of lie. Lie it means to recline. You should go lay down on the bed. Don't be confused by the fact that past sense of lie is lay. Last night I lay down on my bed. Last night I laid the book on my bed. Loose and lose. Loose is the opposite of tight. The lid on the jar is loose. Lose is the present form of lost. Stay close so we don't lose you in the crowd. Of and have. Be careful whenever could've, should've, would've, might've, or must've appear in your writing. It almost always indicates an incorrect use of the word have. Incorrect. I could've won if that guy hadn't tripped me. Correct. I could have won if that guy hadn't tripped me. Incorrect. I should've gone to Hawaii with my friends. Correct. I should have gone to Hawaii with my friends. Past and past. Past is the past tense of the verb to pass. I passed that car on the freeway yesterday. Past refers to a time or indicates beyond. There is something suspicious about her past. Go past the next light, then turn right. You can remember past with a T refers to time, which begins with a T. Principle and principle. Principle means main, like the main administrator in a school. The principal will direct the assembly today. 
That's the principal reason that I came back. Principle is a rule of contract or a point of truth. I won't lie to you because it is against my principles. Sense and since. Sense relates to perception. I sense your frustration, or my sixth sense. Intelligence or reason. Use common sense doesn't make sense. A feel for how something works. Sense of humor, sense of justice, etc. Since relates to time. We haven't eaten since noon. Since also means because. Since we haven't eaten, let's take a lunch break. Than and then. Than indicates comparison. Better than, worse than, taller than, colder than, etc. I like apples more than oranges. Then indicates sequence or consequence. First blank, then blank. If blank, then blank. We went to the store, then the post office. If you don't study for the test, then you won't pass this class. The word compare contains the letter A, just like than. The words sequence and consequence contain the letter E, just like then. There, and there, and there. There shows possession. I just love their new car. Here's a hint. The word there has an I in it, and I like to possess things. There indicates place or existence. Put the cup right there. It indicates place. There is a problem. That indicates existence. There is a contraction of the words they are. They're the nicest people you will ever meet. Does it make sense if you uncontract it? If so, use there. They are the nicest people you will ever meet. It makes sense, so there is correct. I just love they are a new car. Does not make sense. Two and two. Two means also or indicates an excess of something. I like to go to the movies too, or that movie had too much violence or excess. Two should be used in all other cases. Weather and weather. Weather relates to the sun, rain, and clouds. I hope the weather is nice today. Weather introduces an option. It doesn't matter whether or not you agree with me. Where and where. Where relates to clothing or carrying anything upon one's person. I usually don't wear earrings. Where indicates place. I want to live where the wild animals roam free. Were and were. Were is a past tense of the verb to be. We were at the party last night. Were is a contraction of we are. We're going to win the lottery any day now. Whose and whose. Whose shows possession. Whose jacket is this? Whose is a contraction for who is. Who's going to the movie with me? If you use the whose form, which is a contraction, uncontract it to, make, to see if it makes sense. Whose money is this? Whose money is this? It just doesn't make sense. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any further questions, feel free to come to the Writing Center. We're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're located on the second floor of the library. Thank you so much and have a great day.